There we go. Yeah, so he um, was pretty much untouchable for the first you know chunk of time that we had him, but we built his trust using cheese. Cheese. Oh yeah, he's a cheese dog. Aww. <laughs> Thank you for that. That was right on the lips. <laughs> <laughs> so for the better part of the last year, or really ever since I really started my whole pet photography gig, I've always wanted to photograph a wolf. Well, a couple weeks ago, I was at a uh, Richland Kennel Club dog show, and I met these two guys there who just so happened to have a wolf in their own enclosure. So I talked to them, and they said that it would be cool for me to come down and photograph their dog. They live in Goldendale, Washington, so I have to drive two and a half hours from Walla Walla to meet them. And to be honest, I am really excited. Oh shit, I got dog slobber all over my lens. Oh shit. What's going on? Oh, not much. Whoa, he is so beautiful. Yeah, oh my he's god. Faster. He's a little weird when he's in there. As soon as he comes out, he will be a lot calmer. But uh, yeah, so he is one of our wolf dogs that we have up at the homestead. His story is that he is a rescue. His previous owner dumped him out over by Mount Rainier. He just had a collar on and was running around starving to death until some of the locals up there started feeding him. They realized he wasn't a, you know, a pure wild wolf and uh, decided to call in some people. They called Animal Control who couldn't help. They called Fish and Wildlife who couldn't help. And so uh, me and my housemate Sarah Bartell went up there and we spent several weeks camping out up there working to build his trust and build a, a you know, trap to enclose him and eventually we got the call that he was he was secure and we went to pick him up and he's Dude, been working on rehabilitation so... since then so you have more than one wolf then we have a couple wolf dogs yeah um we have two higher contents uh one is ivor who's about 70 percent and this is casper who's about 90 percent and then uh i also have a low content and so does sarah who are mostly dog about 25 and 35 percent you said, uh, what's, what's this one's name right here? This is Casper. Casper. Casper von, von Wildersnoot. <laughs> Say that one more time. Casper von Wildersnoot okay. is his full name. What? <sighs> and he's a good puppy. If you crouch down, he'll uh, come on up to you and, and give you a, an investigation here. But he'll Hello. say hey. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Casper. <laughs> So he's not a big fan of head pats, but uh, he will accept, uh, you know, back scratches, or back scratches, neck rubs, all that okay. sort of thing. Yeah. So he um, was pretty much untouchable for the first, you know, chunk of time that we had him. But we built his trust using cheese. Cheese. Oh yeah, he's a cheese dog. Aww. <laughs> Thank you for that. That was right on the lips. <laughs> Can I grab your butt for a second? I just, this would be so much more majestic so than I can put my feel pretty far on it. Try it. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what he has. I have. What you doing, Puff Puff? We try getting a few more down by the water. Sure thing. If Ethan gets their 12 ounces of goat milk, he's chasing the people. Hard to lose dogs. Normally he'll jump in if we're going uh, home, but this is something where he doesn't like to go <laughs> He will bitch at me about it, but puts up with it completely. <laughs> it's like, dang it, all right. <laughs> it's like, Dad. It's something that like... So we just got done wrapping up at the first park. We got some great photos. The wolf was down by like the water. 
Now they're taking me to a different location. I don't know the names of these places because I'm not from here, but... Oh, they said it was like the observatory or something here in Goldendale. We're gonna go there. He said there's really some like really good nature shots, so we're gonna go and try that out. And see what we can get. Call dude. Having a female companion for both of them so they can all be separated out as needed or you know this fucking top this and then move to the top of his head. He's still not I can't leave him like head. Alright now we're at their homestead where they have more wolves they're gonna introduce us to. I had no idea this was gonna happen, so I'm super excited. Ready? 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 <laughs> Look at that fumble rebound for recovery. Fence. And just hang out. And just hang from there, looking out, just peering out, hoping I'll, I'll come right up on the fence because of being a little nervous, but there we go. Oh. There we go. Round almost. Out pretty much. Awesome. Good to have you out. Nice hanging. Yep. That was such a good experience. I had so much fun meeting and playing with actual wolf dogs. That, like I said, that is something I've been wanting to do for the longest time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share. That would mean a lot to me. Do you know any dogs that have any interesting stories that I could feature on my next video? If you do, send me a message and let's we'll see what we can do. Other than that, I think that's the end of the video. My name is Shadrach, and I'll see you in the next episode.